What is up, EOP Sports fans? It's your boy, Sal G, back with you again for another edition of the Phillies Fight and Final postgame show. Man, that was a hell of a game tonight, wasn't it? Complete game shutout by Ranger Suarez. Gave up seven hits, 112 pitches, career high. Player of the game, awesome game. We got some offense. 5-0, Bills. Feels good, right? It was what we wanted to see. Um, you're not going to win. You're not going to have shutouts every game, right? You're not going to have home runs every game. You're not going to have great defense every game. But the combination of what they did tonight is what you want to see winning teams do, playoff contenders do, right? Great pitching, timely hitting, great defense. And we got all that tonight. It was an awesome game to watch. If anybody was at the game, give me a holler. Let me know how the vibe was. It looked awesome. Um, love Ranger, man. That dude, cool as a cucumber. That just nothing phases that guy, man. He's just, he's got swag. Just everything he does, you know, that last, that last at bat of the game, the guy just hit it to him and he just nonchalantly puts his glove down, waits like two seconds and he just throws it and gets the guy and he's just like, Psh, complete shot out. No, no, complete shutout. No big deal. Easy, right? He makes it look easy. And you know what? We talk about, you know, Nola being the number two on this team. I think we got some debate here on who the number two pitcher is on this team. Because right now, I'm feeling Ranger. I think Ranger is that dude. He's got that mentality. He, he's the man, man. When that guy gets the ball, you just, you just want to watch him. I love watching that dude pitch. Um, yeah, it was a fun game. So everyone, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to EOP. We really appreciate it. Shoot your comments, man. I love chatting, chatting with you guys. We'll chop it up a bit. Happy to do so. So uh, yeah, man, let's get in. I'm gonna get in. Try. Hopefully, I'll do a little bit better my second time around with these uh, with these ads and these transitions, segues, and all. Um, just trying to be a little more smooth with it. So. We'll see if I can uh, if I can do that here for us. All right, I'm gonna go into our our first read now. So here we go. All right, everyone. If you're a Philly sports fan and you want to travel with the Phillies, then travel with the best. Go to philliesporttrips.com. They have self travel packages and full travel packages available with round trip flights for Phillies, Eagles, Flyers, Sixers, and the Union. They even offer day trip for more local games. Go to phillysportstrips.com and, and you sign up immediately and tell them EOP sent you. And don't forget, uh, Philly Sport Trips has all the away trips for the Eagles upcoming 2024 season. And I think the Brazil trip is sold out. So you might want to check, but I'm pretty sure last I heard about that, that was sold out. So I would jump on Philly Sport Trips, see if you can find another game to go to, travel with them. Um, if you look right here on your screen, we got a trip to Baltimore, see Camden Yards. Man, I always wish I could I could go to Baltimore. That's one of my uh, that's one of my places where I got to go. That's on the bucket list. I'd like to hit that place up. So June fifteenth, there's an opportunity. I might go with Philly Sport Trips if the wife will let me. So we'll see what happens there. And if you can't make that one, hey, we got another one here for you: Chicago Wrigley Field. That's another place I'd love to go to. Uh, that's July 3rd through the 7th, 4th of July weekend. I'm sure it'll be a blast there. I'm sure they'll have some fireworks, fun festivities going on. Philly Sports Trips does it big. So make sure you end up giving them a call. Get on the website. Book your trip now. All right. I think I went a little smoother than yesterday. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to get into the uh, – actually, yeah, let me go ahead and get – I'll get into the box scores here. We'll just get into it. So, on the Rocky side, we had uh, Charlie Blackman got went one for four with a K. He struck out. Ezekiel Tovar went 0 for three with a walk and three strikeouts. Ryan McMahon went two for four with a strikeout. Elias Diaz went one for four with a strikeout. Man, Ranger was K'ing everybody. Nolan Jones, 0 for four. Nothing. Alaris Montero went one for three. Uh, 
shoot, I'm trying to remember if was it him or was it Diaz, but uh, I'll get into that then. Then we had uh, Brenton Doyle. He went one for three. And Michael Tolia, he couldn't he couldn't hit a home run tonight. He went 0 for 3 with two punchies. And Alan Trio went 1 for 3. And on the Philly side, actually, let me just see if there's – oh, and Tovar had an error in the first inning. That set up, that set up our first uh, score of the game. And on the Philly side, we had Schwarber. He went 0 for 4 with two punchies. And we had Trey Turner with one that went 1 for 4. Um, again, he, he started it off in the first inning. Uh, he was safe on a throwing error from Tovar. That was the that was the error I was talking about. And then JT Real Muto hits that 413 big big time shot. It had high of uh, exit velocity, I think over 110 miles per hour. Hit that to left center. Put the fills on the board two nothing in the first, and it was smooth sailing for from there. Uh, we had Harper. Two for four, uh, and scoring a run, and th- uh, knocked in three RBIs with his home run. He broke his uh, homerless drought. And the funny thing there was, if you saw the telecast, in the first inning, Harper was using Castellanos' bat. What? If you're going to use anybody's bat on the team, are you going to use Castellanos' bat? You know what Harper did with Castellanos' bat? He struck out. So I'm assuming... Harper gave it back to Nick and said, yeah, your bat's got holes in it or something. So that was the last time I saw that bat play. I don't know if he ended up going back to his bats or was using uh, the other the other players bats. Uh, McCarthy was saying that that Bryce likes to likes to use some bats. Um, you know, I'm glad he hit that home run today, because if he was going to borrow bats, you know, you wonder if the next thing he's going to borrow is other guys underwear. So <laughs> glad that didn't happen. And Real Muto. One for four with a run, two RBIs, and that big time home run in the first inning. And we had Nick Castellanos, 0 for three. Man, my man can't catch a break. Uh, poor Nick. I heard a stat during during the game. Nick is the only qualified hitter. Qualified hitter is a player who has it averages 3.1 at bats. Because if you don't bat, right, you don't get hits. But so you have to be a qualified hitter. He's the only qualified hitter in Major League Baseball without an extra base hit. The only qualified player in all of Major League Baseball. That's Nick. Big stick Nick. <laughs> no extra base hits. You got to think it's coming, right? I mean, he had a great year last year. I know his first year with us wasn't so good. But man, sooner or later, he's got to break it open. Uh, and we had Bryson Stott. He went one for three. I think, uh, did he steal a bag? He did. Oh, no, my bad. He did not steal a bag. Uh, Marsh went 0 for three with two strikeouts, but he had a big play in the field uh, later on in the game, which was huge. It was great to see. So even when he's not doing it with the bat, Marsh, he's doing it with the glove. And my man can play anywhere in the outfield. Uh, he can play center for sure if you put him there. And he, I think he might have a better arm than Nick Castellanos, who's in right. So, Roja, Johan Rojas, he went oh, – he didn't get any hits. He scored a run, but he had a, a nice uh, stolen base. He walked uh, late in the game and had a stolen base, showing off that elite speed, which is what we want to see from him. And that – yeah, that's it for our box score. Uh, Rojas with a uh, – with stolen base and Boehm was caught stealing when he tried, uh, that that didn't work out. He that was a great throw by Diaz and he got he was out by a mile on that. All right, so now we're going to talk about pitching. Well, let's start with Colorado. Austin Gobbler, now uh, Austin Gomber. <laughs> Sorry, Pat. Uh, he went five and a third. Gave up five hits, three runs, one earned, four strikeouts, and he gave up that home run to Real Muto. He didn't pitch a bad game, uh, but a guy like this, you know, if the Phillies bat, bats are hot, and eventually it's going to happen. It was, if there was any doubt going into this season, the one thing we didn't have a doubt about was that the Phillies can hit, and they can mash with the best of them. So they're doing everything else good, 
right? I know base running, fielding. I know they're working on that, right? But the pitching, the bullpen's been great. Once that hitting turns on, man, what can it, what's going to happen there, right? We'll see. So Gomber pitched a decent game. But, man, the dude that relieved him, Vodnik, dude was throwing, throwing straight gas. My man was hitting 100 on the corners. I know uh, he struck out Real Muto on a pitch he didn't like. He was pissed about. But, you know, catchers aren't supposed to argue about balls and strikes. But from what I saw, that looked like a strike. Dude was painting corners. If we faced that guy the entire game, if he was the starter, it might have been a different story in this game. But. Again, you can't win if you don't score any runs, right? So, and that's what Colorado did. And then Kinley came in to relieve Vodnik. He gave up a hit, which was the huge hit, that home run to uh, Harper, who hit, who cranked that homer to left. And he had two runs, two earned, and a walk with two punchies. And on the Philly side, there was only one pitcher. And that's the player of the game, the man. Cool as a cucumber, Ranger Suarez, nine innings, complete game shutout, seven hits, no runs, one walk, one walk, eight strikeouts, and a bunch of ground balls. So what can you say about Ranger Suarez? This dude is a throwback pitcher, and what I mean by that is he doesn't throw gas, right? He doesn't light up the scoreboard with 97, 98. He's got the low 90s. He gets ground balls, right? He's a great fielder. He reminds me, you know, it's like Tom Glavin, right? That's what it reminds me of. I think this dude is our number two pitcher over Nola. I'm saying it. Call me crazy. But I think this dude, he's got it up here, most importantly. And I think you need that to be a frontline pitcher in major leagues. All right, let me go ahead now. I knew I was going to slip up here. Let me go ahead. I got another ad for you. All right, let's rock with this one. All right, everyone, come out. Come on out to Dolan's on Saturday, May 25th. We got Wiffle Ball Mania, Dolan Spring Classic. We got our man, Mickey Morandini. And, our, uh, and he's bringing his boy, John Cruck, the Cruckster. He's been known to play some Wiffle Ball with the grounds crew at the vet back in the day. So uh, I'd like to see him uh, hopefully he doesn't blow his arm out this time around. But, uh, yeah, when you're local and you want to watch a great game or just hang out with some great people, you come out to Dolan's up in Ridley Park, uh, south of the Philadelphia airport. we got great music, great times, memorabilia giveaways, great drinks, great food. You never know when a former Philly sports icon walks through the door. We're going to have two of them come through the door on May 25th. That's a guarantee there. So come on out to Dolan's. You tell PJ that EOP sent you. He'll hook you up. Go to Dolan's, dolansbar.com, or follow them on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok. You know the deal. I'm going to check some of these comments out, see what's going on here. <laughs> Martian Lynch, did we win? I think so. I think we did win, Martian. <laughs> you are out of this world, my man. What's up, everyone? Daniel Barry, Sports Highlights. What's going on, Daniel? Ellis Rogers, bullpen got a rest. Yeah, you love to see it. They've been pitching great, right? But you don't want to overwork them. So Ranger gave them the, the rest that they needed. And hopefully, you know, hopefully we won't need them tomorrow. We won't need many of the guys. But if we do, they're well rested, right? So everybody should be available. Can't believe Rob allowed Ranger to go full game. That's from Star Wars. Yeah, you know what? That pitch count was getting up there, and it looked like Ranger was getting a little little tired there in the ninth when he gave up those two hits. Um, you know, and the pitch count, he, he got his career high in pitches. So I was a little shocked, too. I thought they were going to pull him. Uh, you know, as soon as uh, the second guy got on, I was like, yeah, quick hook. But I'm, I'm glad they let him let him do it, and he deserved it. I got Jameson McGowan says the World Series needs to end with Ranger fielding a ground ball, looking at it in disgust for two seconds, and then firing a strike over the first. R Ranger reminds me a lot of Cliff Lee. Yeah, I see that too, Jameson. Um, it, it was funny, right? He just like held that ball and he's like, just, you know, held it for a second, right? Cool as hell. And he's just, and he just beamed it in there to first. That was awesome. He's money, man. 
Little G Griffith, I'm a big fan of the Phillies. I'm glad you are. I think we're all big fans of the Phillies here. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Patrick Bernard with the question marks. <laughs> Pat, I said Austin Gobbler, but uh, <laughs> I meant Gomber. <laughs> so the Gobbler was for you. Dawn says, hey, Sal, what's going on? The boss... Al's boss checks in. Maddie B says, where's Maddie B? I want Maddie B. Sorry, Maddie B. We don't have you tonight. You got to deal with me. And Steve Fuentes says, I agree with you. Number two pitcher for four, for sure. Thank you, Steve. I, I agree, man. He's just, he's got that swag, man. And that's, that's something you can't teach. You either have it or you don't. And, you know, we know a lot of, Sports is physical, right? But so much more of it is the mentality. And if you just, if you don't have that, you fold under pressure, you know, you can't su succeed at the big league level. All right, what do we have next here? You see, all right, now we're going to go to the Broad Street line. Let's see what's, what's heading out. Let's, let's head out there. Well, what I do? Broad Street Line, where you at? I'm in. All right. We've got the Broad Street bottom line here. So, yeah. What are you going to say about that game? It was awesome, right? It's what you want to see. It makes you feel a little more at ease, right? I mean, it's not ten nothing, but you can't you can't expect that, right? Five nothing's it's a pretty good win. If the team can average five win five runs a game, you're gonna take that. Uh, I think they averaged five points something last year. It might have been like five point one, five point two, or something like that. But yeah, check this out. So Phillies, I was just looking up before the game, and I'm sure it might be low. It might be number one now. They were second in the National League in team at ERA. Mets are first. Maybe we just leapfrog them. Um, let's see what else we had here. Uh, so it's funny. Uh, the Phillies had so many base running mistakes, right, throughout this early part of the season. It was nice to see the flip side of that and watch the Rockies bumble a run down. And Trejo got caught in the top of the sixth inning. And uh, he got caught in a rundown. That was uh, Harper was just charging right at him. That was good to see. I'm glad it wasn't us. So it's funny when it happens to other people. It's not funny when it happens to you, right? Trey Turner got himself a hit, a six game hit streak after that uh, hitting that double. And you know, after that double, we had Harper knock him off with a double uh, to left center, and that was great to see. So what else we got here? Oh. All right, a big part of the game. So we talk about Marsh. He didn't do anything with the bat today, but top seventh. Laris Montero gets gunned down by Marsh after his hit hit off the left field wall. Marsh played it perfectly. That was a double, right, for the most part. So the guy was trying to, you know, turn that into a double, hit the wall in the outfield. Marsh played it off the bounce, played it off the wall, gunned it in the second. Dude got <laughs> – dude was out by a mile, and he got smacked in the face with the glove. So that's a double whammy for Montero there. And that was an awesome play by Marsh. He was fired up. Ranger was fired up. Love to see it. Top of the eighth, we had Bohm with a nice sliding plate. It was right at third to throw out uh, Tolia. And that was that was nice. And then Rojas was showing off his elite speed in the bottom of the eighth with a stolen base. Uh, stealing second. And Harper with his home run, he broke his homerless drought of 12 games. So you know that felt good for him. He'll stop borrowing bats, stick to his bat, I don't, or whatever bat he was using last. That's the bat he should be using going forward. Star Wars says, let's go, Christopher, tomorrow. Yeah, let's keep it going, keep it rolling. All right, let's go ahead and round the bases. Let's check in with our out-of-town scoreboard here. I'm going to see if this will share. We'll try this out. Let's see. All right. If you can't see it, 
and we'll try and figure it out for next time. But we got the Angels in the Rays in the bottom of the 10th. We're tied up at four even. And we got the Giants and Marlins. Right now, the Marlins are up 6-3 on the Giants. And the eighth inning just ended. And we have the Mets currently up on the Pirates 3-1. to one, And the seventh inning just ended there. And we have top of the seventh. We have the, the Red Sox leading the Guardians 6-5. And at the bottom of the sixth, we have the Blue Jays currently leading the Yankees 4-1. to one. And we have the Padres currently leading the Brewers 4-1 to one, end of the fifth. And we have the Braves, or the Brav Blows, as somebody famously said on this uh, post-game show a couple games ago. They're currently leading the Astros 1-0. We don't like either of these teams. Uh, so let, let them beat on each other for a little bit. Braves are leading the Astros 1-0, bottom of the fourth. And the Cubs D-backs is about to begin. So is the Reds Mariners. At 940, we have the Cardinals at the Athletics. And at 1010, we have the Nationals against the Dodgers. And um, we have the Tigers beating the Rangers 4-2. to two. We have the Orioles smashing the Twins 11-3. to three. Our fighting Phils blanked the Rockies 5-zip. And our Royals-White Sox game, our next opponent that'll be here at the bank, that got postponed. All right. That was the scoreboard. Let's see what else we got. Oh, we got some more business here. All right, Phillies fans. Sherry'sTickets.com is easy to use and has no hidden fees. Repeat. No hidden fees. The price you see is the price you pay. No more going to your cart about to check out, and all of a sudden you're hit with some crazy convenience fees, BS charges, and all that you know funky stuff we don't like to see when we're buying tickets. Sherry's is straight up with their pricing. Pay less and play more with Sherry'sTickets.com. Save even more by using the explosive Exclusive. It's also explosive, but it's an exclusive promo code EOP10. Don't pay hidden fees and save 10%. Why would you use any other ticket retailer and get those hard to come by tickets to the big game? And if you need a more personal touch, you're old school, give them a call. 610-494-5050. Sherry's tickets.com also has great theater and concert tickets. And get those hard to come by tickets to the big game. And don't overpay. Remember, use our promo code EOP10. All right. Let's see, we got any more comments? No, nothing else. Remember, everybody, please like and subscribe and leave a comment if you want. I love chopping it up. Uh, let's say we got closing arguments here or closing statements. There's no arguments. Uh, the Phillies rocked tonight. You know, they, they didn't they didn't play a tough opponent. Right. But you still have to beat who's in front of you. You still have to play. I mean, they're, the Rockies that aren't, aren't laying down. They're playing hard. You know, they're a young team. They might not be good, but they're going to play. And, you know, the Phillies gave it to them today. So they took two of them. Go for the sweep tomorrow. Tomorrow we have. Who do we got going tomorrow? Let me see. Oh, we have Christopher Sanchez, right? As my man Star Wars said, we got Christopher Sanchez going up against who? I don't remember, and I'm not seeing it. Why aren't I seeing it? Oh, shoot. Anyway, <laughs> Phillies have another game tomorrow. I know that much. I don't know why I'm not seeing it. Was it an early game or something? Possibly, maybe. Oh, they're playing at 6.05. We have, I don't know who, that, Ryan Feltner. All right. Ryan Feltner coming into the, the, the game. He's got a 3.38 ERA, 18 innings pitched, 18 strikeouts, 1.3 whip. I'm not worried about it. I think we'll handle business like we always do. All right, let's see what we got coming up on EOP. Please make sure you check out our other programming. Right before I jumped on, we had our guys talking football draft. 
We have clear the ice coming up next. What else we got? What else we have for the fight and final? We have, uh, all the sports you can think of, we got. We got wrestling. We got lacrosse. We got soccer. We got it all here. No, I didn't mean that. My bad. Oh, I can't find the graphic. Ah, my bad. All right, here it is. So tomorrow, we're going to cap off our series with the Rockies. We got Maddie B. Yes, Maddie B will be here tomorrow. I know Maddie B wanted to be on tonight, but he couldn't because I'm here. But Maddie B will be on tomorrow to give his post game analysis uh, and insight after that game tomorrow. And I want to thank all our sponsors again Sherry'sTickets.com, PhillySportsTrip.com, Cherry Law Firm, and Dolan's Bar. Hold on one second here. I'll bring up my man, Dave Cherry. That's right. If you are in need of a lawyer, David R. Cherry Esquire is your guy. If you get hurt at work or if you're in an accident, personal injury or affected by criminal law, you call David R. Cherry. Give him a call at 610-565-0300 or go to cherryinjurylaw.com. Like, let David Cherry fight for your rights. Again, that number is 610-565-0300 or go to cherryinjurylaw.com. Got another comment here. Complete Ranger by Walter. Yes, with a bunch of emojis. A thumbs up. I can't see them all. A uh, party hat. A smiling face with a party hat. And I don't know what that second emoji is. I'm old, so I don't know all these emojis. I know the poop emoji <laughs> and a smiley face and a thumbs up and a peace sign. That's about it. So I want to thank you all for joining us today. It was fun hanging out with everybody. I appreciate it. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe to our videos. We appreciate it. Every little bit helps when you like and subscribe. It helps that YouTube algorithm. It'll help you find our videos faster. It'll pop up for you. Get, you'll get to see our live shows when they're happening. So make sure you do that. Check us out. And we'll talk to you on the next, the next show. Thanks, everybody. Have a good night. Peace. And this is where I messed up. Ha, <laughs> ha.